Welcome to Soup Dump Recipes. Today we're making scallion pancakes. Look at it. These pan fried bread are so amazing. It's flaky, crispy, golden brown. Tastes so good. Can't wait to show you how to make it. You will need ten ounces of all-purpose flour and one teaspoon of salt. Give it a mix. Seven ounces of warm water. Pour it in batches. In the same time, use chopsticks. Stir it until it looks like this. Now use your hand to knead it. We use quite a lot of water, so the dough is really sticky. Feel free to use some dry flour, so it will be easier to handle. But don't put too much, or else you ruin the balance between the flour and the water. Once you get your dough like this, doesn't need to be perfectly smooth. This will take about a minute. We will put this in a bowl, which I brushed some oil in advance. Turn the dough over a few times inside the bowl until the surface is coated slightly with the oil. Cover it with a plastic film. It needs to touch the dough directly. Push out all the air. Because we are going to let this sit in the fridge overnight. If you have a little bubble with air in it, then there will be a spot with a layer of dry skin tomorrow. So be careful with that. This is next day. Before we work on the dough, let's make a flour oil, which we call it yosu in Chinese. It is the key to make the scallion pancake flaky and crispy. In a small sauce bowl, add 1.5 tablespoon of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of black pepper. Heat up three tablespoon of vegetable oil and pour it in. Mix it carefully. This is just a basic oil. If you want to be creative, you can add some chili flakes, Sichuan peppercorn, or cumin. Take off the plastic. Scrape the dough out and put it on a mat. Shape it into a long, even piece. The amount I gave is enough for six pancakes, so we will cut it into six even pieces. Apply some oil on the mat to prevent it from sticking. Flatten it a little bit and use a rolling pin to roll it into thin sheet. Try to get it into a rectangle shape, but doesn't have to be so perfect. Brush it with some yosu, which is the flour oil we made before. Sprinkle some scallion on it. Roll it from one side like this. Pull it a little bit to make it longer and more even. Then roll it into a cake shape. You need to put the end under the cake. This will keep the shape and your cake won't be loose. Use your rolling pin to roll it into a round sheet. Once you get it about 7 inches across, you can start to pan fry it. Before this hits the pan, I want to show you how to save it, so you can make a lot at one time. Wrap it with a plastic film and put it in a sealable bag. It will last 30 days in the freezer. Whenever you want to eat them again, take it out. Don't need to defrost, just directly pan fry it. I have my cast iron pan heating up. 
Put some oil in it. Just need to cover the bottom. You can do this with any pan you have as long as it has a flat bottom. Put your scallion pancake in and fry it on medium heat. It will take 3 to 5 minutes on each side to get it golden brown. Do it one by one and you're done! Let me show you how awesome these are. Look at that, so many layers. Ooh, let's take a bite. Mmm, it's crispy. Inside is soft, moist, a little chewy, and full of scallion flavors. We usually eat this with plain porridge. It's a cheap breakfast, but so delicious. I hope you give this a try soon. If you did, leave me a comment and I would love to hear some feedback from you. As always, the recipe will be in the description. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. If you want to know more about me and support me, check out my Patreon link right there. And I'll see you next time. Bye!